Hi, this is Chris Moses with GospelProgressionsUniversity.com and in this short video I'm going to show you why you're using the scales incorrectly. I know that many of you are used to playing your modes like your C Ionian, I think I may have said Aeolian before. C Ionian, D Dorian, uh, E Phrygian, F Lydian, G Mixolydian, A Aeolian, B Locrian, those seven modes and just sticking them in the major scale. So when you play them, they sound very like vanilla ish. So if we started from the Locrian, it sounds like, oh wow, you're playing in C, but starting at B, big deal. Or Dorian, D Dorian in the key of C. It sounds, again, vanilla, bland, and boring. Now, I want to show you a way to get out of that and to think differently. Uh, you know, a lot of times in our harmony, in Western harmony, or just in our music in general, when we play, we're thinking of, well, if I'm playing in C major, everything must be, you know, in C major. If occasionally I'll have a, you know, a sharp there or a flat there, hey, it sounds colorful. But to get you out of that mindset, when you're thinking of scales, Scales, I shouldn't say replace, scales go with chords. Chords go with scales. It's like the yin and yang, so to speak. Scales make up chords and chords make up scales. They both come from each other. So if you play a scale, you imply a chord. If you play a chord, you imply a scale. The two are inseparable. So let's take the song Lord of the Breakthrough. It's by Israel Horn. I believe it's from his album uh, Live from Another Level. Now, when we play this, okay, the first chord is going to be C. Remember, three chords, C major, all right, B flat, A flat. That's your third chord, and back to the second chord. It's B flat, and then back to one. So it's one, two, three. Those are your three chords. Now, playing this, like I have before, I've always asked myself, how are they getting these chords? And it still resolves to C major. And it was just something so small and so simple that I overlooked. And without getting too much into the details of modes, because I do have some video painfully discussing those uh, those actual uh, concepts, you can take a look at those. I'll put those in the description and I'll put a tag above. We'll see now how this actually works. So now we're playing in the key of C major. We know our first chord or for first mode is the Aeo uh, Ionian rather, okay? Anything in C major would work. Okay, all of a sudden we jump over here and then we jump here and go here and go back to here. The reason why this works is because we're changing modes. The first mode is your major C Ionian. So instead of sticking with the C Ionian, we can throw in another C mode. Let's take the C Aeolian. C Aeolian is now the sixth mode of E flat. So basically we're playing E flat over C. So instead of instead of it saying, you know, we're saying, okay, we're playing A uh, Aeolian and it sounded just very C-ish over the key of C, we're taking the sixth mode from the key of E flat and playing it over what already exists. You're not creating anything different. It just gives it a different color because you're playing what's already there. Because A uh, uh, C Aeolian is E flat or if you start on C, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, C. That means you can play all of those notes and all of those chord structures over C. You can over pedal tone C, all right? Just like you could play C major over C, you can play C Aeolian over C and end it the same way. So the first chord, of course, would work with this. Here's your C major. Now we're changing modes. And then again, a flat to go to B flat. So because we're pedal toning on C, we can go right back to it. I mean, it, it really wouldn't matter. Just like in the key of, uh, uh, well, that same key actually would work. You can still play in the key of C and pedal tone G because it's C Aeolian and still end on C. Of course, your ear is used to hearing that. But the point being is that Instead of playing your, you know, very rooty, 
<laughs> when I say Rudy, just root oriented um, modes to start, you know, an F Lydian and still end up somehow it sounding like it wants to go to C. It's because it does. But if you took that and said, okay, instead of playing F, you know, Lydian, let's play C Lydian. It sounds much more interesting. Or taking another mode, another scale, uh, uh, G harmonic minor. So if we took G harmonic minor, the one, two, three, four, the fourth note in G harmonic minor is C. So if we did this, we were in C major, and we wanted to change the mode, we can still stick on C and not get too crazy. It sounds very mysterious and very different. But again, that's what you're looking for. So all you need to do is learn your modes. Learn all of them, of course, in every key. And like you would play them in every key. And just switch them back and forth. So if I wanted to play, uh, instead of just D, you know, uh, D Dorian. Again, over C, it's very boring. I can play C Dorian over C. So C Dorian would be the second mode of B flat. So one, two, B flat is one, C is two. So you'd have this. And it doesn't sound weird and this you can end on C. So this will give you some ideas, hopefully, on how to take songs outside and say, hey, let me just learn these modes. And you don't have to have any unfamiliar or crazy scale, you know, that, that's just, just different, you know, really, really jazzed up. Just take the basic modes, the seven modes from the major scale. You can play them over uh, the corresponding notes. All right, I hope this helps you. Any questions, uh, you can just leave a comment below. Thank you so much for viewing and I'll see you in the next video.